Right, we're going to be looking at doing a left-hand square screw thread in this question. Uh, they've given you the core over here, and they've given you the profile of the screw thread. Um, they've told us that the sides of the square screw thread are 24 millimeters in length, and the core is 42. Those are the two measurements that you really need to do this question. Um, over here, you can see they have drawn the core and they've drawn the external screw thread in a top view of it. Um, the starting point of the screw thread, they are asking you to do it right down at the bottom over there. There's the starting point. Um, what they've given in their answer, uh, showing the actual profile of that square screw thread isn't really going to happen in real life. Um, you're always needing your square screw thread to start as a sort of a wedge so that it can actually start in onto your uh, your nut or your bolt or whatever it's attached to it. Okay, so the answer that we're looking at is going to look more like that without the view of an actual square on it. Okay, let's just look at the numbering over here. It is a left-hand square screw thread. So we know that our starting point A is over there and down at the bottom over there, there's starting point A over there. All right, um, first of all, I like to number it with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. All right, that gives me 12 spaces, okay? If I count those spaces, I have got 12 spaces over there. And then I start again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. All right, all right. I come across to this side where it says 7 over there. I go across to the other side and I start with another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, going to the top over there. And I count backwards over here, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7 over there. All right, if you've got that numbering in, we'll be able to get these helixes uh, running over here very nicely. Right, I'm standing in between these two views over here, looking across. I've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 that I will be able to see in my view. So I'm going to start out looking for number seven down at the bottom over here, seven going to eight, going to nine, going to 10, going to 11, going to 12, and going to one over there. That's my first set that I've got. I've got a seven over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Where is seven? Seven is over there, link it up with seven, and I'm going to go seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 1 over there. And I come over here, there's another 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 over there. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 1. Okay, and there's a seven over there, so we come across here again, and we go seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one over there. Right, once I've got that in place, I then say, well, my starting point over here would be number one. I would have a gap over there. Therefore, this needs to be done in solid over there. Let's just draw a solid line going over here, a solid line there, a solid line there. If that's solid there, I need to have a solid line going over there, and I need a solid line going down over there. You can see the external part of the screw thread that would be right out in front over here. Okay, let's start looking at um, what we're going to see from the the back portion of this thing. Okay, there's number one. Number one is going to go one to two, two to three, three to four, but then it goes in hidden detail all the way back over here, ding, 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 to one. Okay, um, I can come over here. There's the next number one over there. Number one, going to two, going to three, Going to four, ding, 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 all the way to one over there in hidden detail. All right. Um, uh, over here, um, 
you can see that I'm going to need to draw some pieces over here from the seven going down to six, going down to five, going down to four, ding, 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 ding. You can see that that would be in hidden detail going at the back there. Um, and I have another seven over there, seven, six, five, going to four, ding, 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 going back to hidden detail over there at the back, but we don't need to draw hidden detail in. Okay, the next thing that we need to look at are the parts that we have over here um, that I'm going to be able to see over here, which would be uh, four, five, six, and seven, okay? Four, five, six, and seven over there. There's my four, four going to five, five going to six, six going to seven. Remember, we can see all of those. Here's another one. Four, four going to five, five going to six, six going to seven on my core. All right. And I have another one over here. Um, down at the bottom where I need to go from seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Look for another one over here. Seven, eight, nine, and 10 over there. Okay, and once we've got those things in place, I then need to draw in a line coming down, showing the core over there. A line coming down, showing the core over here. A line coming down, showing the core over there and a line coming down, showing the core over there. Once I've done that, our square screw thread is completed. Right, there is our left-hand square screw thread. You can draw a line going across the bottom over there as well, and a line going across the top over there. Right, I hope that helps. Remember, you've got the helixes on the outside, and you've got these helixes in the core over here, which are very important to get. Look where they're going, look what it is that you'll be able to see from where you're standing over here, and that's where that numbering comes in to play. <laughs>